Hi guys, I'm back with another one and in this one we are going to take a look at iFlight's Blitz F7 flight controller. Uh, it's the newest uh, generation of flight controllers from uh, iFlight and yeah, let's see what's inside the box. Inside the box we get the flight controller itself, we have rubber grommets and we have the plethora of cables that I will show you later on. Uh, for the specification uh, I will leave the link down in the description below. But yeah, uh, for the flight controller itself uh, I don't need to mention anything about the iFlight's uh, quality uh, of components and the PCBs and everything. I mean the 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 FC is really really nice, tidy. It has uh, voltage regulators for your DJI, DJI stuff and for your um, uh, analog stuff. Uh, it has really really uh, a nice set of features um, when it comes to soldering. Namely, it has soldering pads on top and connectors on the bottom so for this uh, I, you don't need to do any soldering um, on your uh, quad so yeah uh, we have uh, let's go over the the pads we have 5 volt ground um, RX SDA so your your um, GPS or rather we will leave that uh, later for um, for my next part of the video because uh, also iFlight gives you really nice instructions for the uh, for this flight controller so yeah uh, let's see what's uh, inside the box uh, we have this uh, what I assume is is this should be some kind of VTX cable. This is for your ESCs, uh, wh whichever type of the connection it uses. So it always goes like like so on the on the FC and whichever plug your uh, ESC uses but be careful for, for the pinout because it's not always plug and play with with this this um, uh, this type of cables also we have the DJI yeah this is the DJI cable for your air unit you have one that you can solder on uh, this is for your Vista if you're using Vista you can use this cable this is really nice and convenient your analog analog cam cable and this one is also I don't know for what but we will check out this part this is the the part I was talking about uh, the flight controller has really really nice uh, instructions so you can connect everything up um, without uh, any soldering so yeah um, let's see uh, what we have here uh, so uh, for the for the connection we have uh, this uh, this pin um, this is all all uh, labeled um, video out 9 volt ground uh, TX RX uh, you have this so you can you can connect the the camera too so you you connect uh, or rather VTX you use um, this cable right here this one with the with the soldering um, if you you use this one for the connection so you have your your video your voltage to the to the uh, video VTX and you have RX so you can uh, control your your um, VTX 
So for the next one, located, this is the orientation, located in the front, you have you have this, and this is how you will connect this one. If you don't have this type of connector, you just simply cut it off and solder on the the VTX, and this one goes to your uh, camera for your um, analog stuff. Uh, and also, if you use um, iFlight's um, VTX, you can simply plug it in, and it's plug and play for the. Next one, we have the connection to the various um, receivers. As I already mentioned, you have this connector here that goes on to solder on your FR Sky or uh, or SBus or PBS or any kind of any kind of uh, receivers because you have TX, RX, um, ground, 5 volt um, and your 3.3 uh, volts so you can switch the the cable here to this port and you will have 3.3 if you use if you use uh, spectrum or something like that that uh, requires 3.3 volts but all your 5 volts is already uh, wired up for the uh, air unit you need this connector and these two plugs and it's simply uh, plug and play to the to the uh, air unit and yeah that's basically it so we have the we have the plug for the ESC we have the plug for the for the uh, camera and we will use this because I have um, rather this one because I have um, ghost and I will use the pinout for from this plug to wire up the ghost go corre uh, correctly and I uh, don't think I will need to solder anything on my belt so yeah let's go and do just that so um, I have everything uh, wired up um, I have uh, connected it to my ghost hybrid port that is on the back of my my frame I have connected the uh, cable for from my ESC to uh, FC and I have this one from for the camera so it's basically just easy as plugging everything so yeah that's the FC installed no no um, uh, soldering whatsoever uh, that is required I mean uh, I have the connection to my uh, ghost hybrid port on the on the back via this cable that is plug in this plug and also I have my camera connected and my ESC connected to the flight controller so it's never been this easy to build up a new drone so yeah uh, for the uh, uh, setup and everything it's already uh, been done so uh, you have every every parameter of the this FC uh, in the manual that I uh, showed you previously so you don't need to do anything but just check the manual and you will find all the parameters for your UARTs and everything inside the inside the manual and yeah I mean it's really simple and easy and this is really really nice and high quality uh, flight controllers of the later generation so yeah it's really worth uh, checking out so yeah off to the next